What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another breaking news story and we have some word out of Madrid that the ATP 1000 slash WTA mandatory event in Madrid is going to be extended to two weeks. So now it's going to be a bigger event, a two week event. Of course, it's played on the clay courts in Madrid leading up to the French Open for both the WTA and the ATP. And now it's going to be extended by a couple of days, therefore being a two-week tournament. Now, it's going to start on the 27th of April and finish on the 9th of May. So that is going to be the extension. It's one of very few WTA and ATP events where they're both there at the same time. We don't have many of those around the tour, and this is one of those events. So they're going to extend it because of that reason. Uh, of course, the 2020 event was cancelled at the very last minute. It was supposed to be played as that lead-in September French Open tournament, but got cancelled at the last minute. Feliciano Lopez, the current Spanish veteran, he's still playing on the tour. He is the tournament director, has come out with a statement. We're happy to have achieved the goal of becoming a two-week tournament. We sought this expansion, and it is well-deserved, necessary, and will allow us to enjoy the best tennis in the world for a few more days. I'm sure that both our sponsors and all our fans will welcome this news with open arms, as well as the city of Madrid, which will receive more visitors for a longer period of time. So that is coming straight from the director, the tournament director, of course, Philly Lopez. Uh, like I said, Spanish veteran. He's been on the tour forever, and he's been the tournament director for a couple of years there. But Madrid's had a very interesting history. This is the next chapter of its history. Now it's a bigger event. It joins Indian Wells and Miami as one of those longer two-week events. Obviously, we've got the majors that are two weeks, but these are about a week and a half, two weeks. So it joins those big tournaments. It joins Indian Wells and Miami, which are both combined events as well with WTA and ATP. Of course, started in 2002, it took over from Stuttgart as an indoor hardcore tournament. That's where it started. It was in a different stadium across town. It started on the indoor hardcourts between 2002 and 2008. Rafa Nadal won, if you know, uh, if you watched that match in 2005, he won from two sets down to win that tournament on the indoor hardcourts. His only indoor hardcore tournament win, by the way. Uh, and then 2009, it converted to a clay court event. It went across town, new stadium, and it's been a clay court event ever since. And then, of course, who can forget the 2012 blue clay, where we had a blue clay court, and it looked like a hard court. Roger Federer winning that one, and then they went back straight back to the red clay the year after. So Madrid's had a very interesting history. It's had an interesting tournament history. A couple of changes, and this is going to be the latest change. And like I said, joining Indian Wells and Miami as a two-week event.